Hey everybody, it's Eric here from my 525 Excel. Just giving you a quick update on the tank. Today is April 13th. Um, not my usual time span for updates, but I just wanted to uh, let you know one thing I did on the tank or behind it today. Um, but just before we do that, just another update on the tank within a tank. Um, so for my last video, I mentioned I sunk, sunk that little uh, auto top off reservoir into my 525 and uh, inside if you're not already aware I have oh there he is is a high fin goby and a pistol shrimp so so far so good you can see how small he is it's about an inch big <laughs> um, haven't seen the pistol shrimp come out too much but at least I know they're in there and okay um, so I am feeding them brine shrimp and uh, a couple of pellets which I just dropped through the mesh which you can see is getting a little crusted with algae um, but anyway they seem to be doing uh, fine but I am not even up to a week yet so we'll see how that goes fingers crossed but so far so good uh, everything else coral seem to be doing great um, noticing some more color on those acroporas up there um, not sure what that's attributed to the alpha reef or I don't know I'm gonna say yes <laughs> um, but it really seems to be taking on some nice color now same with the torch coral down there seems to be really picked up and uh, floor recordia is doing well um, getting kind of chunky which is good everything else looks great I need to start considering um, fragging up that Duncan all the heads are kind of clamored together so I want to I need a saw to do that to cut it so I'll have to look into that everything else looks good uh, Zoas GSP is doing well and the heritage mushrooms Anyway, from behind, what I wanted to show you in the furnace room, slash fish room, excuse the noise on the furnace. Um, what I've done is changed out one of my dosing pumps. So I went from the uh, Neptune dose, I uh, was only using the one pump actually because I'm using all for reef, just one, one additive. And I've replaced it with the Camor X1 Pro 2 Wi-Fi. Uh, so I just put this in today. It was a piece of cake to set up. Um, gives you everything you need including the screws to mount the unit on the back so I put that on calibrated it and then just plugged it in so it's pulling from the alpha reef um, additives and uh, set the dosing schedule 23 mils a day took I don't know including screwing it in probably 10 minutes it was it was a snap so I'm gonna run this see how it goes uh, I read a lot of good things about the Kimura pumps um, I like the footprint of this one I only need the one pump for this additive so I thought you know, when you look at the size comparison for what I need it for, uh, this guy is overkill, although they are workhorses, right? So I'll let the Kimor run for a while, and once I'm happy with it, which I think it will be based on what I've read on the pump, um, I'll sell off that, uh, that dose. I do have another one up there, uh, and that's the guy that does all my water changes, so uh, I really don't need two of the dose pumps, so I'll probably sell that off on Kijiji or Marketplace or something. So anyway, that's it for today. Just a real quick update. Uh, gonna run this guy for a while, um, see how it works out. I'm sure it'll be fine. If anyone has any questions or comments on the pump itself, drop it down below. I'd be happy to respond. Again, it's only been in for a couple hours, but uh, you know, if you have any questions on setup and stuff, gladly help out. Uh, it was a piece of cake. Um, when it ships, the, the head and the unit are separate, I guess to, to avoid damage. All I had to do is fit the head on. And, uh, and that's it, away you go. Calibration was a piece of cake, and as I said, setup installation was a snap, so. Anyway, hope you guys are staying safe out there. Here in Toronto, we're in another lockdown. Coast cases are up again with the variants, but uh, anyway, we're locked down till April, no, beginning of May, I think. So anyway, hope you guys are staying safe, vigilant. Uh, questions or comments, just plop them down below. Happy to respond. Until then, happy reefing.